To distinguish themselves, the Manitoba branch made specific designs that could be purchased through the guild shop. Members also worked together to create large works to be exhibited on behalf of the branch. In 1931, the Manitoba branch began to place their own designs on textiles with the hopes that this would support sales. They also hoped that this would encourage and promote an interest in guild activities throughout the Depression. Their first design, most likely executed by Francis Lount, was a wheat motif. The design would be updated numerous times in the following years, twice by well-known artist Eric Bergman, but it consistently incorporated one or two stalks of wheat. The wheat embroideries have made their way across the world and have been received by dignitaries, heads of state, and even Queen Elizabeth II. Consequently, the design became a greatly honored trademark. The Manitoba branch also worked together to create pieces for local, national, and international events. This piece, called the Manitoba Sampler, was made for an exhibition the Manitoba branch were asked to organize on behalf of the Canadian Handicrafts Guild. Artist Eric Bergman was asked to design the Manitoba Sampler. His design resulted in an outline of a map of Manitoba with its exterior and interior decorated with symbols of Manitoba's past and present. From well-known wildflowers and animals to grain mills in the legislative building, the Manitoba Sampler truly embraces a variety of Manitoba's many highlights. Approximately 20 stitches were executed, and the embroidering of the sampler was worked on by numerous women, representing 11 national groups within the branch. The Manitoba Sampler was exhibited at the Jubilee Pageant of Folk Art held in Winnipeg at the Bay in February of 1945. It was exhibited alongside samplers from Quebec, Alberta, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, Nova Scotia, and the Yukon. Members of the Manitoba branch were also involved in creating symbols that continue to represent Manitoba to this day, one of which is the Manitoba Tartan. It was designed by Hugh and Dorothy Rankin, both important members of the Guild, and it was presented to the Manitoba branch in April of 1958 at the annual meeting. The Tartan is recognized under Bill No. 126 as an official symbol of Manitoba and is also registered in the books of the Court of the Lord Lyon, King of Arms of Scotland. In addition to its recognition as an official Manitoba symbol, the Queen declared April 6 as Manitoba Tartan Day to recognize the role Scottish Manitobans had and continue to have on Manitoba's cultural heritage. It took two years of weaving various combinations before the Manitoba Tartan was created, and through this process, Hugh and Dorothy Rankin also designed the Manitoba Dress Tartan. Generally, dress tartans replace one of the main colors with white. In the case of the Manitoba Dress Tartan, the green is replaced with white, which symbolizes the vast stretches of snow Manitoba is so commonly known for. 